Southeast Missouri is home to a beautiful network of forests and rivers teeming with wildlife. Numerous birds, fish, and other animals rely on these environments for their homes and nourishment. But decades of contamination have taken a significant toll on these natural areas, most notably in an important waterway called the Big River. The Big River runs through what's known as the Old Lead Belt. In the 1700s, Native Americans introduced the French to rich lead deposits and French settlers returned with enslaved peoples and paid miners to begin mining. In the many decades that followed, they set up mines, smelters, and businesses to extract and refine these minerals, creating jobs and growth in the community. But this industrial expansion brought with it a huge environmental problem. Mining generates waste called chat and tailings, which is deposited in large piles and impoundments behind dams covering thousands of acres. These sand-like piles contain lead and other heavy metals, all of which are toxic to humans and animals. Over the years, wind and rain have eroded these piles, adding lead waste to the river's sediment, where it's carried farther and farther downstream. When the river floods, this contaminated sediment is also washed into floodplain soils, which retain some of the lead and feed it back into the river, serving as a constant source of contamination. This all has harmful consequences for the river's wildlife and recreation. Crawfish, sunfish, and other bottom-feeding fish caught in the Big River aren't safe to eat, which is bad news for local fishermen and animals that depend on fish in their diet. Endangered freshwater mussels that help filter the water and act as an indicator for overall river health are dwindling due to lead poisoning. Even songbirds like robins and cardinals, along with other small animals that feed on worms in the floodplains, end up ingesting bits of lead-contaminated soil. This not only harms the lives of those animals, but also the food cycles they support, threatening the river's natural balance of fish and wildlife. And these aren't localized problems. More than 100 miles of the river have been contaminated in this way. The Big River provides recreation opportunities and drinking water for tens of thousands of people in the adjacent counties and the downstream St. Louis area. Additionally, the Big River flows into the Merrimack River, which is one of the most ecologically important rivers in the Midwest. To lower the risk for the public and improve the environment, many government agencies and organizations are working together to restore the Big River. The EPA has begun to address major waste piles, stabilize eroding and contaminated riverbanks, remove contamination from sediment and floodplains, and clean up residential yards. But there is still a long way to go. Trees and other vegetation along the bank need to be restored. Contaminated sediment behind river dams and other vital river structures needs to be removed. And mussel and fish populations need to be revitalized. The EPA will soon be making its river cleanup plan available to the public for comment and review before beginning implementation. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the Missouri Department of Natural Resources are also conducting restoration projects on the Big River and searching for opportunities to restore and improve the wildlife habitat. Finally, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is seeking funding to implement ecosystem restoration projects to restore degraded aquatic habitat within the Merrimack River Basin, specifically along the Big River. If you own residential properties or properties within the Big River floodplain, you can also help in a big way. Lead-contaminated soil in yards and other private land needs to be identified and cleaned up, both to protect wildlife and the health of local families. The EPA offers soil lead testing and removal completely free of charge, but can only do so upon request. EPA can be contacted at 1-800-223-0425 to begin the soil testing and cleanup process today. Part of the efforts to revitalize the Big River may also include planting trees and shrubs to stabilize eroding riverbanks. If you have any eroding riverbanks on your property that you would like evaluated for stabilization, contact the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service at 573-234-5010 or 573-234-2132. Working toward a better Big River, the cleanup and restoration effort, the cure for the Big River.